Hi, this is Franklin Yamamoto with SQL Grease. Today, I will be demoing our installation process. The process is quite simple and fast. This demo assumes you have already gone through the registration process. Upon logging in with your newly created account, you will see this welcome screen. Click on the Create Instance icon to select the monitoring plan. The main difference in plans is the amount of storage available. If you are unsure of what plan is suitable for your instance, you can always select a smaller plan and upgrade at a later point. We are now ready to configure what time zone should be used when displaying times in SQL Grease. This value can always be changed at a future time. The location indicates the physical location of the data center where our SQL Grease infrastructure is located. These locations coincide with Microsoft Azure data centers. Choose the one nearest to your data center. The Sanitize Data option is important. As a security feature, SQL Grease can sanitize any queries, execution plans, deadlock graphs, etc. that are collected. This occurs prior to your data ever leaving your data center. Sanitizing involves masking any non-parameterized SQL or maxing compiled parameters in execution plans. The drawback to this is it limits your ability to identify query plans with parameter sniffing issues. It is highly recommended that you use the default option to sanitize data if you have a HIPAA or PCI compliant database. Next, we will add the payment info. Your subscription will not start until the final configuration step occurs. In other words, you can perform the final configuration step at a later time without starting the billing. Click the Submit button to continue. We are now ready to create the SQL Server login that SQL Grease will use when connecting to your database server. Several scripts are included on this page. You will notice that SQL Grease runs with a minimal set of permissions on your database. All that's required is view any definition and view server state for SQL Grease to start monitoring. We are now ready to download the installer for the collector service. The collector service will be installed in your data center. It has a small footprint and can monitor multiple SQL Server instances. In Microsoft Azure, we have seen an A1 VM be sufficient to monitor up to five SQL instances. This is a one CPU VM with 1.75 gigs of memory. After the installer completes, we must run the configurator. We must first log into the configurator with our SQL Grease username and password that we registered with. The SQL Grease Collector runs as a Windows service. In this step, we will configure what Windows user account the service executes as. There are three different options, a Windows Domain user account, a local machine user account, or the local system account. If you intend to use Windows Authentication with SQL Server, you should specify that user ID in this step. For this demo, we are using SQL Server Authentication, so we will use the local system account. In this step, we are associating the configuration we did on the SQL Grease website with the configuration on the collector service that we're doing right now. At this point, we will enter the server name that we're going to monitor. This can be a host name, IP address, or named instance. Now we will specify how we will authenticate the SQL Server. In this example, we are using SQL Server Authentication. SQL Grease can collect Windows performance counters for the operating system. This would require the SQL Grease user to have sysadmin permissions though. For this example, we will not enable it. We are now ready to start the Windows service. SQL Grease is now provisioning resources in the cloud. 
It should be noted, the collector connects to our cloud services over HTTPS. We use a compressed binary protocol to allow for fast, secure transport of data. The agent is now collecting data. We can click the history link to view the data it is collecting. It can take four to seven minutes for data to appear in the history tab when looking at timeframes that span less than two hours. For the sake of this demo, this delay has been edited out. We now see data collecting. Thank you for joining us.